You are a diehard golfer, aren't you? You'll play the game anywhere, anytime, in any conditions whatsoever. But I have to ask you a question. How good is your rain gear? Stick around. We're going to investigate what may be the upgrade your game needs. Hi, I'm Bill Hobson, and it's time for us to examine a part of your golf equipment that is often overlooked until a very critical moment, and that is when you're playing in inclement conditions. I've been a part of golf for 40 plus years of my life, and I'm sorry to say, kind of embarrassed to say, I've never really had good rain gear. I've never invested in it, and there have been so many times where I've been caught in bad weather and my friends, my playing partners, are over there looking as if they are as comfortable as if they were at home in the living room because they are wearing proper rain gear. They're not getting wet, they're not getting cold, and even though we would all prefer to be playing in the sun, their game isn't suffering because of it. Meanwhile, I'm soaked through and wishing that I was anywhere except on the golf course. Well, if that sort of describes you and we share this stubbornness together, it's time to examine an upgrade in technology just like we would if we were talking about a new driver or a set of irons or a putter or a ball. Rain gear has come a long ways. And so if you have never invested in rain gear or if it's been over five years, I think this video is going to be very useful to you as we introduce you to the latest from Galway Bay. Now I'm going to take you through the key elements of the package that they sent to me including the sleeves that you can pull on, of course, a rain jacket and rain pants. We're going to walk through all of them, and then I'm going to go outside because it's pouring outside right now. So here comes a full demo test of Galway Bay's new rain gear. We're going to start building this Galway Bay Performance Outerwear introduction by going sleeves up. Now, I have never put on all-weather sleeves. Some of you have, perhaps, sometimes to guard you from the sun. In this case, we're going to take them out into some inclement weather. So, I have ordered a couple of double XL black all-weather golf sleeves. I've never tried these kind of things on before, but I have seen them used in great comfort and to great effect. And so, we're going to put these on just to see if they feel constricting or not. I think that's probably the biggest concern that a lot of golfers have in their somewhat reluctant attitude towards rain gear. Because if you are dealing with rain gear from an older era, it, it basically feels like you've been wrapped in saran wrap and you can't move at all. So these, by the way, these sleeves are very flexible, very comfortable, not constricting at all. I did order the double XL because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a big guy. Um, these don't feel at all like a blood pressure cuff. We're all good to go because the last thing you want is to be distracted by what you're wearing. So from the sleeves, let's stay with the upper body for a moment. And now we're going to dig into the rain jacket. Now probably because of past experiences with clothing running smaller than I thought it would, um, I requested a double XL jacket. Okay, so this could turn out to be as big as a tarp or it could turn out to be a good fit. It really depends on the make and model of the manufacturer when it comes to me and sizes of jackets and shirts. My shirts are XL and most of my jackets are double XL. Why? Because I want to be able to swing. The last thing you want to do is feel like you're in a straight jacket. So here we go with this double X. This feels really nice, really accommodating to size. And in a moment when we go outside, we'll We'll check out the actual flexibility, but as I give it a little run here in the studio, so far, so good. Okay, for the last major element before we head outdoors, we have to go to the rain pants. Let me get off my, my tag here. Um, and again, these all come in a nice Ziploc sort of a bag so that you don't have to store them loosely. You can keep them in your car. You can store them away without having them all rumpled and crumpled and wrinkled. So here are the Galloway Bay rain pants. Now I got the unlined version because I'm not a big fan of the liners. They generally seem to be um, almost like Velcro where they stick to your slacks. So we're going to throw these on. And by the way, these aren't just, um, you know, small, medium, large, extra large, double X. 
they are actually in your pant size. They are custom fit, which is going to be, I'm hoping, a nice relaxing fit. So I put these on over top of my slacks, and I can tell you right now, these feel pretty darn good. So, as we sit here in the studio, what am I feeling? How am I thinking uh, about the movement capabilities, about the flexibility, about the constriction factor? I gotta be honest with you, I don't feel any binding up whatsoever inside. So, as we all learned several years ago, I believe it was a Ryder Cup, might have been a President's Cup, where the United States team had as its official rain gear sponsor a company that delivered them really bad rain gear. I think the ultimate test of this is what happens when we go outside into the rain. Okay, we've made our way outdoors. Now it's not raining quite as intensely as it was when I was inside recording the earlier part of the video, but there's still a pretty steady rain coming down with temperatures in the low 40s and a pretty good wind. So I've set the camera inside and I'm standing outside and by the way, I'm really not that cold. I haven't put on anything extra than what you saw earlier. So I've got my, my regular slacks on, I've got a golf shirt on. I put on the Galway Bay sleeves underneath. I put on their jacket and the unlined pants. And it really is providing quite a bit of insulation out here. And it's 100% waterproof. I need you to understand that. You're not going to get wet. And with some of the older rain gear, it would sweat and you would even just get wet from the, the condensation or the humidity inside the rain gear. This has a breathability to it that keeps you dry inside and repels the water outside. Now, you remember that famous scene from the movie A Christmas Story where Ralphie's little brother was getting dressed up for school and his mom wrapped him so tightly that he couldn't put his arms down and she said, ah, put your arms down when you get to school. Well, that's the great fear of anybody when you talk about rain gear. It can be cumbersome, it can be constricting. We don't want that. So, how is Galway Bay? I just grabbed an old club. Let's step back and do a couple swings and see if we feel any sort of pulling, any sort of restriction at any point. There is nothing stopping me from swinging. When I do swing, the, the, the clothing isn't riding so far up that it's all uncomfortable and you have to keep tugging it down and doing all that stuff. In other words, it's a, it's a really good fit. My friends, this is fantastic gear. It's now going to become a permanent part of my golf equipment. And might I suggest that if you've never purchased rain gear, you go to Galway Bay for yours. And if you need an upgrade, if you haven't bought anything in the last five years or so, get online and check out what they have to offer because this is more comfortable than I actually thought it would be. This is fantastic. So Galway Bay, well done. And hopefully for those of you watching, it'll become part of your golf equipment moving forward.